All right, so today we're taking a 40 overall zero, basically, because he's a nobody, and turning him in to a hero. So here we have my 40 overall AI teammate. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here, you already know I use the AI teammate when I basically need to put trash players on a team. And he's a 40 overall, but like I said, we're turning him from a zero to a hero today. But before we turn him into a hero, we have to see what team our 40 overall is going to play for. So we shuffling up the list of 30 NBA teams right here. And because he was number five on the screen, we're gonna go with number five. He's going to the Portland Trail Blazers. So we got our 40 overall AI on the Portland Trail Blazers. Now this is where it get interesting because I have 45 different upgrades that we can use on our player. For his rookie season, I'm only gonna start out with one upgrade, trying to go from zero to hero. And I want box number 23. He gets max defensive attributes and badges fresh out the gate. So max defensive attributes, as you see, everything he has is literally a 25 rating. He was literally a 40 overall, like dog S word player, bro, because I just made him for like when I do videos like rebuilding, not rebuilding, building a team to be another team. If you missed my building a team to be the 2017 Golden State Warriors, make sure I go ahead and check that out. Well, we got max defensive attributes. And then we also have to give him max, which is Hall of Fame defensive badges for every defensive badge on the game so max defensive badges right here and our max defensive attributes literally got our boy a whopping 57 overall and i'm actually going to change this because he doesn't need to play center i, I had him as a center because that's what i made him as but we're going to change this i'm actually going to put our zero to hero at point guard and he literally drops <laughs> he literally drops to a 47 overall from a 57 but if we look at portland I mean, we need another point guard. This dude went like zero for 15 from three towards the end of the season last year. So he's smelly. We know what Scoot did. Shooting guards, they're pretty decent. Small fours, they're okay. Power fours, they're cool. Centers, they're cool. So we'll take them and put them at point guard. If we would've went to a different team, he probably would've been in a different position. And I'm not gonna lie, with a 57 overall, he's probably not even gonna be in rotation and he's not. But just so he stays on the team, we're gonna add him to the untouchables and we're gonna make sure the game does not change that and trade my boy and get him up out of here. All right, so I simulated down to the all-star break just because I wanted to see what the trailblazers will actually look like and yeah they stink like i thought they would so 22 and 32 so literally our zero is going to turn into a hero because he has to help out the portland trailblazers i don't even know where he's at on the roster ai teammates still 47 overall and i don't think he's played a minute all season long okay he's done something because he got one rebound so far at the all-star break he's literally played two minutes per game got two rebounds so he's played in two different games in a total of four minutes didn't get a shot up or anything so at the all-star break like nothing's happening all right nothing surprising here with Luka winning MVP Dalton Connect rookie of the year shout out the Lakers Westbrook six man Wimby Depoy Jalen Johnson most improved and clutch player Tom Thibodeau coach of the year in New York all NBA first team second team wow Victor Wimbanyama red uh hurt severe ankle sprain two four weeks all right all NBA third team Bam out of bios out four to six weeks let's see all defensive first Anthony Edwards all defensive second Devin Carter as a rookie makes all defensive second let's see NBA standings Portland Trailblazers did not make the play-in game we were 33 and 49 on this season you know what I'm saying zero went up to a 48 overall and I think he's probably yeah he didn't touch the floor for the rest of the season so we're gonna get through the playoffs see who wins the nba championship we also got to see who we draft you know what i mean this is a good draft coming up we got thunder versus magic nba finals magic literally sweep the oklahoma city thunder and paulo gets finals mvp that's pretty crazy i know paulo bancaro was rookie of the year and he's not getting media attention lebron wants to retire we're gonna let him retire chris paul's still here that's all good and well draft lottery Let's figure it out because the Portland Trailblazers stunk. I did not see a Trailblazers logo in the lottery mix. So I'm under. Hold on, wait. Number seven via Portland. Who? So you're telling me the Trailblazers are not getting any top pick? We get the seventh pick in the NBA draft. Well, let's just see who's getting drafted. Welcome to the 2024 NBA draft. It's really 2025. The Pelicans got the first overall pick and picked him from Duke. That's Duke starting center this year in college basketball, probably. Nolan goes to Memphis at two. Cooper goes to the Rockets at three. No way Cooper drops to three in the real draft. Dallas gets, wow, it's a trade. The Rockets trade first round, fourth overall for Desmond Bain. Wow, so the Rockets got Desmond Bain. The Grizzlies are on the clock. They got Ace Bailey. So you traded Desmond Bain to pick up Ace Bailey. I don't know if that's a good decision, but that's what y'all did. Dylan Harper goes to, well, the Wizards. 76ers have, wow, another trade. The Raptors trade six overall 
for Draymond Green and Kyle Anderson. That's very interesting. And the Warriors go with Carter Bryant. Portland Trail Blazers are on the clock, and we are drafting Drake Powell. I have seen him pop up a lot in my simulations. I don't really know what he's supposed to be, what he's supposed to be good at, but that is who we drafted, Mr. Drake Powell. I don't know if this even tells me like his, I mean, we have tendencies or whatever, but I don't know if this tells me who he's supposed to be like, but he's a 6'7", shooting guard, small forward. All right, so I was going through the roster and I don't know why our AI teammate left the Portland Trailblazers. I put him on a three-year deal. He ended up going to the Denver Nuggets, bro, on a two-way contract, which I don't know how that happened, but we're gonna change that. All right, so we literally put our boy on a four-year contract with the Denver Nuggets because I don't know why he was even you know, let go. I'm adding him to the untouchable. So Denver, please don't trade him. Now back to the upgrade board. So for season two, he's going to get two upgrades. We're going to go 13. He gets max playmaking attributes and badges. That's a good one. And then we're going to go 34 all silver shooting badges. That's nice. So we're going to max out everything in the playmaking category. So ball handling, of course, goes to a 99. Pass IQ goes to a 99. Pass accuracy goes to a 99. Pass vision also goes to a 99 because that's in the playmaking category. Speed with ball goes to a 99 because he got a dribble. And then we got to give him every Hall of Fame playmaking badge in the game. So I wonder what his overall is actually going to go to once we finish this. It's actually going to be pretty interesting. Not going to lie to you. So we have everything maxed out and we are now a 68 overall. We are a 610 point guard. I forgot he was 610. I mean, it's pretty normal. Not normal, normal, but it's possible to have in the NBA. So we got a 68 overall, 610 point guard in season two. Let's do this real quick and see where he's at. He is still not in the rotation at all. All right, all-star break on the Denver Nuggets look different than it looked in the Portland Trail Blazers. I mean, we are 36 and 18 on the season and our AI is a 66 overall. So he went down two, but I mean, he's still not in a rotation. He really would have been a two-way player if we didn't sign him. So let's see his stats for the season. It says... I don't know why it just says Portland right here, but uh, well, that's what he did. Port oh, it says Portland because that's what he did last year. He hasn't seen the floor yet this season. Like, hasn't seen the floor whatsoever for Denver. That could be bad ball, but he got to go from being a zero to being a hero. Next season, because it's his third season, he gets three upgrades, and maybe we can see him progress. Go from maybe, you know what I'm saying, 66 to... 85 getting to start a lineup or something and look at there our boy Jokic takes home the mvp 24 11 and 10 he shot 41 percent from three ace bailey to memphis rookie of the year and six man of the year so they got desmond Bain out of there for that depoy goes to Wimby. rob dillingham gets most improved clutch player goes to ant jason kidd dallas mavericks coach of the year 57 25 record all nba first sees Jokic on there all nba second all nba third all defensive first and all defensive second. Ace Bailey makes an all defensive team in his rookie season. Nuggets get the three seed in the playoffs with a nice record of, what was it, 55 and 27. And then just to check in on our stats, well, those are playoff stats, my bad. Just to check in on our stats for our boy. Let's see, Jokic led us in scoring and we are at the bottom of the barrel. We did not see the floor in season two. So hopefully we can see the floor in season three. We're gonna simulate the playoffs. We're gonna simulate the round versus the Pelicans, see what happens here. We lost in the first round. See, you probably should have played our boy. Maybe he could have gave you something off the bench. Magic get back to the NBA Finals versus the Dallas Mavericks, and they get swept for zero. Luka, of course, takes the Finals MVP. These are your retired players, some good names leaving out of here. Russell Westbrook, Kevin Love, Al Horford, 97 years old, James Johnson. I mean, there's some decent players out here retiring this year. P.J. Tucker should have been retired, but it is what it is. Draft lottery. The Nuggets should not be in the lottery at all. I don't see Denver anywhere, not even with trades. Let's skip to the lottery results. The Nuggets don't have a pick whatsoever in the first round, so it doesn't even matter who the Nuggets really take because they probably won't see rotation if you're drafting them, you know what I'm saying, second round. But here's the NBA draft. This is really 2026. Thunder take AJ Dibonsa. I probably said that wrong. Y'all don't, you know what I'm saying? Leave me alone, okay? He went first. Second pick goes to Darius A. Cuff Jr. Third pick, Cameron Boozer. Fourth pick goes Jacob Wilkins. Uh Oh, Dominique Wilkins' son or nephew or one of those things. And then Darren Peterson goes five to the Memphis Grizzlies. And the Nuggets are a top tier organization because they left our boy on contract but we are 66 overall so that means it is time to hit the upgrade board for season three 
Let's go pick number five. What do we get? Plus 25 to our shooting. That's a good one. Let's see. I want to go box 21. All gold shooting badges as well. I just realized too, I did not give him the all silver shooting badges from last season. So I just got to give him all, well, now it's all gold shooting badges because we go up a tier. So all gold shooting badges plus 25 shooting. One more upgrade. Let's go box 41. Max finishing attributes and badges. Our guy might be good now. So we're going max finishing, which means the driving layup goes to 99. I think post fade goes into finishing. They don't show it in like my player. But of course, I think post fade and post hook goes to finishing. I'm not sure if post control goes to finishing or playmaking, but we'll use that close shot goes up to a 99. I think draw foul should be a 99 because it's in the finishing category in a sense. Standing dunk is now a 99. Driving dunk is a 99. Oh my goodness. Now I got to go to the badges because we get all Hall of Fame finishing badges on our guy. So he got the max finishing. Now he's getting all the Hall of Fame badges. This shit really increases overall a decent amount. But we also have to give him plus 25 on shooting. So 25 plus 37 is 62. So now he has a 62 midi. And then he has a 63 three-point shot. 25 plus 31 is 57. No, 56. I'm sorry. 56 free throw. And then we got to give him all gold shooting badges. So even though he's in a 60, he has gold shooting badges. He still might be able to knock it down. You know what I'm saying? Catching passes from Jokic, Murray, and things of that nature. And our guy has literally made it up to an 81 overall. He is only five notches behind the starting point guard, Jamal Murray. So that should definitely put him in rotation. And he is now the ninth man on the roster getting 15 minutes a game. All right, we got a couple of games past the All-Star break. Let's check us out. We have a 38 and 18 record. Now let's see if our boy was hooping at all so far. And he, for the point category, is at 1.8 points a game. 56 games played, three rebounds, three assists. He's shooting 51% from the field and 32% from the three-point line. But he's averaging, what, how many minutes is he averaging a game? 12 minutes a game right now. Now this could be a problem because I'm looking at his tendencies Shot tendency is a 70, touch tendency is 80, but the rest of his tendencies, because he was a zero, is literally all zeros. But we'll simulate down to the end of the regular season and see if any of that changes. Next year, we're going into season four. So my boy gets four upgrades. He literally can turn in from an 83 or 81 overall, whatever it said, to like a 95 and really be like a star-studded player. Jokic takes the back-to-back -back MVPs though, 25, 12, and nine. Cameron Boozer, rookie of the year. Josh Giddy is six man. Wimby Depoy, Reed Shepard, most improved, Paulo Clutch Player, and OKC's Coaches Coach of the Year, 62 and 20. We got Jokic All NBA first, as we should, you know, second, third, defense, defense, all of that good stuff. Let's see, the Nuggets finished third in the Western Conference again with a, what was that, 55 and 27 record. Let's see if our boy put some shots up because of his shot tendencies. How did we get Austin Reeves on the team? I'm not liking that. AI team made us down here though. Three points, three assists, three rebounds, 49% from the field, 36 from three, 61 from the free throw line. He was playing 12 minutes a game, 11.8, so pretty similar. And we got Golden State in the first round of the playoffs though. Steph Curry, Brandon Pazimski. All right, they got Walker Kessler here, but we're gonna simulate the round because our guy is not playing yet. Number two seeded. Houston Rockets looking pretty solid. No Fred Van Fleet, but they do have Cooper Flag. 91 overall. Alperin Sangona, Man Thompson, Jalen Green. Simulate the round. See what the Nuggets do. Losing seven. Yeah, I think the Nuggets really like might not do anything until our boy plays. Thunder Cavs, NBA Finals, Cavs winning seven. D. Mitch Spider Mitchell takes the finals MVP. And we're now at the point where Kevin Durant and DeMar DeRozan have retired and we still haven't gotten a really fair shot on the court yet. All right, so we're coming into year four and our player gets four upgrades. Let's go box 30. He gets a plus 25 to his dunk. It doesn't really matter because he already has max finishing. So we'll go another box, plus five to all defensive attributes. That doesn't matter because he has max defense already as well. Plus 25 to playmaking doesn't matter because he already has max playmaking. So they're really trying to get, okay, plus 10 to all physicals. That's something we can work with. Uh, number two, let's go box 19. Max five playmaking badges. He already has max playmaking badges. So he's only got one upgrade he can use right now. And that's plus 10 to all the physicals. Box 38, all gold finishing badges. He already has max finishing badges and attributes. I probably need to add more stuff to this upgrade board. Max shooting to 99. Okay, so plus 10 all physicals. Max shooting goes to 99. Let's go box 31. 
plus five to all shooting. He already has max shooting. Oh my goodness, we're getting down here. All Hall of Fame playmaking badges. But we already got that. Max playmaking and max attributes. All Hall of Fame defensive badges. We have that. I need to add more stuff to this upgrade board if I'm going to use it again. All Hall of Fame finishing badges. We have that. 29 plus 10 to defense doesn't matter. I'm literally on the upgrade board. Oh my goodness, plus five to all finishing. Oh, plus five to all playmaking. I think the board was built this way because I wasn't expecting to get max. Okay, plus 10 to all attributes, plus 10 to all physicals, and then we get max shooting to 99, and I still gotta try to get him one more upgrade. Max five shooting badges. Okay, so he doesn't have Hall of Fame shooting badges yet. So we gotta go max five shooting badges, plus 10 to all physicals, plus 10 to all attributes, and max all his shooting to 99. So it says five shooting badges, we get the max to Hall of Fame. I'll go Agent 3's on Hall of Fame. Give me Catch and Shoot and Blinders on Hall of Fame. And we only get two more. Let me go Limitless Range and Space Creator. Now it says max all of my shooting to a 99. So our midi goes to a 99 and our three ball goes to a 99 along with our free throw to 99. Then it also says plus 10 to all attributes so any attribute that is not a 99 we go plus 10 so offensive rebound goes to 35 shot iq goes to 35 hands go to 46 lateral quickness so our physicals we're looking bad right here 35 35 all of this stuff goes to 35 because we didn't get anything on our physicals but actually if i'm looking at the board correctly i feel like something was supposed to go to physicals plus 10 on physicals so this actually goes to 45 in every category except speed with ball because speed with ball was already maxed out because we got to max out our playmaking category so we did max shooting in 99 we did plus 10 to all attributes we did plus 10 to all physicals and we maxed out five shooting badges to hall of fame and that puts our player at a 96 overall which means he should definitely be the starting point guard now and he is only getting 20 minutes a game though at a 96 overall i'm not sure how i feel about that but he should actually put some stats on the board. So we're going to get down to the All-Star break and see what he's looking like. All right, so 35 and 18 record at the All-Star break. That puts the Nuggets third in the Western Conference. We should have great stats right now. And we are literally averaging 13 points a game as a 96 overall. 13, 4, and 5. 53 from the field, 40% from the three-point line. But we're averaging 19 minutes a game. I don't know. As a 96 overall, I feel like we should be doing more we actually boosted up to a 97 but it says we should only play 17 minutes a game i'm wondering what's happening here let's check our tendencies our tendencies should be straight yeah we definitely have a 99 i don't know why i keep skipping it a 99 shot tendency can you put on 100 i'm putting this on 100 like i'm a 97 overall with Jokic. me and Jokic should be shooting the ball a lot more i am 610 though i wonder if i change my height okay changing my height does not change my overall i mean i guess yeah i could still be a 610 point guard I just don't like the fact that I'm only getting, what is this? Now it says 16 minutes a game. I don't I don't really like that. Let's check. What does our contract look like? Do we leave the Denver Nuggets after this season because they're not playing us? It says we're on contract for next season, but this is the AI teammate's career. So guess what? He is going to have a player option, buddy. If he wants to come back, he'll come back. If he doesn't want to come back, he doesn't want to come back. Oh, well, he doesn't have an option. I can't give him an option at all extension option yeah can't give him an option so we'll let him decide if he wants to leave and go somewhere else because he's not being treated fairly even though his relations say he's ecstatic that's what he can do now nah, Jokic really won three straight mvps bro caleb gaskin i don't know who that is we're going through this caleb foster we won defensive player of the year hold on buddy that's cold but our season averages still wasn't good bro our season averages literally say 13 points for the season i'm not understanding that 13 points four boards five assists 53% from field, 43% from three, 99% from the free throw line. I mean, we played good basketball this year, but we should have been better because we're 97 overall. Most improved player, Brandon Miller, clutch player. Okay, C coach gets coach of the year again. Yogi's back on all NBA first, but y'all don't care about the rest because we don't see your boy, but we do see him all defensive first team as a 97 overall. And the Nuggets finished second in the Western Conference because we had a 57 and 25 record. Our boy should be playing now, but Portland wins game number one. We had 23, four and five on seven of nine shooting. Okay, game number two, Portland wins. Wow, game three, Portland wins. Is something going on? Game four, three, one. What's next? Three, two. Can we bring it back? Three, three. No, we didn't. We got popped. What is really going on here? Why are like, we getting popped like this? Our playoff stats 
what did we average for the playoffs? We literally was second in scoring, 19, four and seven in the playoffs, shooting 56, 54, 96. We're getting out of here and we're trying to see if our boy leaves and goes somewhere else for his final season. Thunder and Cavs in the finals again. Thunder win again. Not actually Thunder win because Cavs won last year. Thunder win this year. Shea gets finals MVP. And because our boy is a 97 overall, this is his final season coming up and we're going to give him two upgrades. So let's go four plus 25 to defense. Doesn't matter because he already has it. All silver finishing badges. We're not going to make his finishing badges go backwards. Max five finishing badges. They're already maxed out. Three lowest ratings to 90. Okay, so we're going to check that one out. And then one more, we'll give him one lowest rating to 99. He decided to sign back with Denver though. Four years, 213 million. Now we get to take one of his lowest rating and put it at a 99. I don't know what I want to do yet. Offensive rebound is cool there. Ooh, we can put this up. His speed with ball should not have dropped. His speed with ball should have been a 99. That's probably why he wasn't scoring because the game changed this around. Okay, so if we want to go his lowest rating to a 99, it would have to be somewhere in athleticism. So let me get his speed to a 99. And then it says three lowest ratings. We can move to a 90. So lateral quickness. I want to actually let me change that. I'm putting lateral quickness 99. I'm putting speed at a 90. I'm putting acceleration at a 90. And then I'm putting vertical. Nope, 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 nope. Put that back at 46. I'm putting stamina at a 90. Because maybe he need more stamina to dribble the ball and play a little longer. So those are his two upgrades for this season. He is now... A 99 overall. And he's the starting point guard playing 34 minutes a game. Yes, sir, coach. All right, Wimby gets the MVP award, 25 and 12. Don't know who that is. Nikola Topic, six men of the year. We get another D point. Do you see our stats though? 26, seven and eight. We finally had a hero season. 26, seven and eight, two steals a game. Basically 55, 44, 99 from the field. And we played 34 minutes a game basically. Uh, Nicola Topic, most improved, Brandon Miller, clutch player, OKC's coach, keep getting coached here. We literally made all NBA first team. So we finally went from zero to hero, all defensive first team as well. Nuggets get the fourth seed in the playoffs against MVP Victor Wimbanyama. We had a 53 and 29 record. So let's hoop. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to us. And then game four, wow, it goes to the Spurs. And we win 4-1. We are finally in the second round against number one OKC. They take game one. We take game two. So it's 1-1, one, 2-1 one, one OKC, 3-1 OKC. Yeah, it looks like OKC is going to beat us because this is the 2K simulation. And OKC literally beats everybody in every simulation. And they're literally smacking us right now, bro. 135 to 87 is insane. Bro, do you see this? One, bro, 142 to 96? What? Okay. Currently, our boy has 18 points, seven rebounds, and six assists. I did not know OKC got AJ. That's a big pickup. And Josh Giddy made his way back to OKC. They also got VJ Edgecombe and Taj Ariza. So OKC is decent. I just want to see if our boy can get him a highlight in. You know what I'm saying? While we're getting smacked 144 to 101. Shade to the rim. He lays it up. Missed it. Rebound. What is that? Christian Braun? Yeah, pass it to our boy. You see him on the left side? Holler at him. You giving it to Jokic. Jokic is tired. Gatorade symbol is on. Layup over Chet. Oh, I was going to say in one. Jokic's first free throw. Knocks it down. Doesn't matter. We're down 130. I literally only clicked in to see if our boy gets a bucket. He has the ball in his hand. Pushing the break. Pulls up for three. Man, he missed it. I thought he knocked it down. <laughs> Let's see if we're going to be a good sport here and dribble the clock out. Or are you going to try to go score the basketball? I really wish you'll go score it. Not going to lie. Oh, you don't want to try to score it? Shoot, I'll score it for you. I really don't even know your animations. But I'll go and score that ball for Ooh, that jump shot is sickening. Ew, that jump shot nasty. Was that Luka? Was that the Luka? Ew. But OKC puts us out, man. Let's get to the finals. Thunder Cavs again. And this time the Thunder win again with Shea getting finals MVP. I'm not going to lie, man. I don't think they like your boy because Dylan Harper gets the MVP. I mean, we're going through. We get another depoy. So our third depoy. We average 24 seven and eight 52 42 99 basically and then yeah all that good stuff we're back on all nba first team so that's good we're back in the playoffs second seed versus portland i'm simulating the round versus portland and we literally can't get out the first or the second round so i tried to do you know what i'm saying what i could do wizards thunder finals shake gill just oh my goodness they're running the simulation like they always do but yeah zero to hero that's what we did we went from 40 overall to 99 overall, we was a two-time All-Star, two times on All-NBA First Team, three-time Defensive Player of the Year, 
and three-time first-team all-defense. We just didn't win a championship or an MVP, but that's okay. We still went from zero to hero because we were 99 overall. Now, I appreciate y'all stopping by and sticking through. Make sure y'all subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.